Hello everybody, I'm gonna present you today <clears throat> 12 volts LED strip like this one here uh, or 12 volts light there we go LED something yeah so I'm gonna present you something today you know this kind of LED strips or basic Basically, what will we do with this? Basically, we, we connect this one you know, to a 12 volts power supply, like this, very easy, minus to minus, here you go, minus to minus, and plus to plus, let's see, and it lights, yeah, very easy, very, all right. So, for this project, like it's very easy today. I'm gonna present you something that is useful in an emergency situation or in off-grid kind of solar application. But first thing first, I'm gonna present you a little bit a uh, small story how they managed to end up with this LED and uh, so on. So first of all, such a long time ago, it was this kind of bulb, the filament one that you connect it to a 12 volts power supply and it lights up. This is very inefficient way, but is uh, all right because you can connect it on any way, you know, plus to minus, minus plus, it doesn't have any, any polarity, so it doesn't remember. From this one, they introduce this one, LED strip, you know, very useful. Thank Much lower power consumption and kind of bulky looking. And here we go. Is is lighting? Yeah. After that, they introduced this special one. It's a twelve volts, two point three watts. This one is very bright and very useful in a solar application. Look. It's very bright. I'm gonna flip it to the camera. It's very bright. It's a little bit expensive, but it does the trick. With this one and the 12 volt battery, um, it's gonna consume like 20 23 milliamps. You can light up a, a small room, but you can connect more of these in parallel, so it's gonna be more light. But this one is more efficient than a dual thief or a step up voltage boost converter, whatever you want to call it. This is more efficient, and you don't have to know nothing about wires and toroids and how many turns, which transistor, and all that crap. You just connect it straight away, and that's it. You got light. As I show you early, this is a small. LED strip, which I managed to cut from this big chunky one. You have to be very careful the polarity. So plus is gonna be this side, and minus is gonna be this side. There we go. It's bright. It's alright. It doesn't. It does the trick. But this one is kind of bulky, and if you're gonna need just for this one to make a, a small flashlight, let's say, yeah, I'm not gonna carry this chunky. Thing with you you cannot put it in your pocket and whatever this one is all right it has uh, plenty of amp hours so it's gonna last a very long while but it's kind of bulky yeah so what can we do in that case how we can power this small one to make a small flashlight which is gonna last a couple of hours and so on a very easy trick is a 9 volt battery yeah, you had it right, a 9 volt battery connected straight away to this LED strip. It's gonna light. It's not gonna light as bright as the 12 volts battery, of course. Look at the size, you know, small and chunky, yeah. But we can adjust this LED strip. We can modify it, which I'm gonna present you in another video. And we're gonna make it to output the same power as if is gonna be connected to the 12 volts one. So I'm gonna show you straight away. Let's check plus. Plus on the 9 volt battery is the smaller pin. 
like I told you before, it was a little bit technical problem. Uh, we're gonna connect the battery straight to the LED strip. So as you know by now, the small connector, like this one, is gonna be the positive, and the bigger one is gonna be the negative. So we're gonna connect it, and here it goes. We got light. It's not as bright as the 12 volts, but we can adjust it to make it the same brightness. Here we go, 9 volts, but it's very useful and we can manage to make something small. I'm gonna show you now very quickly <coughs> how much amps is drawing uh, this two module of LED strip. Let's see, connected once again. We're gonna see how small is the drawing. A couple of let's check. Here we go is lighting full brightness as as full as they can give the nine volt battery, and the multimeter is not is zero point zero one, so ten milliamps, ten milliamps with this brightness. I think this is pretty okay. So 10 milliamps with this one, but we can modify it and we're gonna have the same output as if it's gonna be connected to the 12 volts. So, oh, let me show you now something more. If you're gonna buy an LED strip, they usually come in 5 meters or 10 meters or something like that, you know. A very and easy tip when you buy it. You're gonna connect it straight away to the 9 volt battery. Here we go, like this, and the LED is gonna light. You can check now if you got one module which is burned or not functioning properly. So here you go, a 12 volts LED strip tester. Let's say it. All right, so we're gonna proceed now. We're gonna make a small flashlight with this, with one with 9 volt battery with the LED strip. And uh, something like this is gonna be a two battery holder. This one you can find in pound shop or Poundland or uh, driven by small two LED AA batteries, and they're gonna be the battery gonna be in this kind of case. So we're gonna proceed by stripping the case off, cutting this part here, solder some other wire here, and that's it. We're gonna have a switch. The battery is gonna be inside here and the LED strip is gonna be on the back with the glue gun everything is gonna be set up so let's get started folks so friends for this project we're gonna sacrifice this Christmas tree a small one that's it Christmas is gone so next year uh, we're gonna be interested in the battery case like this one it's got a switch which is gonna be right for us a case and look, flip it on off on off the tree is gonna go off all right so we're gonna proceed by live action cutting the wires like so that's it it's done the tree is squeaking eh, no that's it we're gonna remove the case like so very easy and inside we're gonna see i got two batteries when you remove the batteries, you don't need it anymore. So we're gonna try and see if we're gonna fit the battery inside. Uh, it's nearly fitting inside. All right, so as I told you before, we're gonna take a plier and we're gonna strip this small plastic stuff that is in between the batteries. That's it. Okay. All right, so we have managed to cut the plastic like in this old one, like here, that separates the battery. We're gonna open it like this one, and we're gonna use this bottom part. Basically, we're gonna take it from here, cut it to size, and put it on the opposite side to connect the battery. Yeah, and we're gonna put something here to put the battery to be tied into these uh, springs but first thing first we're gonna open this bottom part this upper part sorry with a screwdriver we 
because here onto the positive side there is a resistor which we're gonna take off because we're not gonna need it here you go we have managed to open it a little bit and we're gonna proceed to the other side very easy not break it let's see here you go folks close up we're gonna take it apart and as you can see here the resistor we're gonna take this resistor off just cut it and put a piece with the spring from the other side right here like i told you this is the part from the lower part of the, uh, the battery holder this and we're gonna see how much we can fit there in our position but we're gonna adjust it afterwards so don't worry we're gonna cut it right in the middle like so watch out okay i'm gonna cut it in the middle and we're gonna try to put it in there all right folks we managed to put this one we are not soldered yet the wires but we're gonna test it to see if the battery slides in perfectly perfectly small adjustments and we're gonna be ready we have managed to solder a wire so if you can see it this small one from here to the switch and back to the outside all right folks <coughs> we are back we're gonna insert the battery now it's not fully restrained because we have to put something to hold it right but we're gonna do a small test to see if the, the connection is all right yeah so this is the connection this is a plus and a minus here you go folks this is it right we have a switch as well on off on off we got the case we got a led strip what's left now to cut this led strip i'm going to show you now i'm going to cut it in half right here and here we go we're gonna cut it in half and connect it into in parallel to the battery so from here basically we're gonna extend some wires plus to plus minus to minus and here again plus to plus minus to minus and we're gonna connect an extra wires here you go folks here's how it's looking we're gonna put some glue gun or some adhesive to hold it in place we're gonna put the battery the minus facing here there go and ta -da! we got our flashlight tiny you can fit it in your pocket it's a bit really, really finished but it's gonna be there and we're gonna show you now final product just a sec that's it folks we managed to put in place the led lights we have sorted them and we left this one on purpose you can hang it wherever you want in camping and whatever you're gonna use this one that's it a little bit uh, glue gun put it here hot glue hold it in place connection here soldering and i just put a little bit here of hot glue to keep the battery uh, a little bit offset so we're gonna connect it like so as you can see it's working and disconnected we're gonna put the cap back it's a little bit tight because it needs a bit more sanding but it's gonna fit don't worry this is it i managed to put it back it's a little bit tight but here you go folks it's working like a chair 12 volts led strip powered by a 9 volt battery here you go i'm gonna shut off the light now remain to see exactly here you go folks and we're gonna see now in pitch black here you go friends you can see it's very useful thanks all for watching in the meanwhile thumbs up subscribe share the fun and leave the comment below thanks for watching bye bye Woohoo! yeah mother